Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to bring you a different video this this time. Um, I, as you know, I craft a lot. I've shown you guys, I do a project yarnathon. I've done get your craft on and I've shown you like all my yarn crafts. And then I started showing you some of my stitching, my cross stitching crafts. And um, I've gotten a lot more into the cross stitching lately. And I've been watching a lot of floss tube, which is all videos about cross stitching and flossy crafts like embroidery stuff like that but I've been primarily watching floss tube and I've really really enjoyed it and I've been primarily watching whip parades which are a whip is a work in progress and this is where people just show off all the things that they're working on all their different whips and some people have like a hundred some people have five um, I am somewhere in the middle so I just thought it would be fun to show you all the different things that I have been stitching on like of course not all at once like some things I'm, I'm gonna let you know when I started them and um, I just kind of rotate through I'm kind of a seasonal stitcher so right now I'm stitching on a lot of like autumn pieces and Halloween pieces but I just thought this would be really fun something different for my channel for you guys to kind of see what I'm um, stitching on and you know, I kind of was thinking, just like I do my Project Yarnathon videos, like once every couple of months, that I would possibly do like an update to my floss tubes. Like, here's what I've been working on. Here's the progress I've gotten. Here are my hauls. So let me know if that's something you'd be like interested in. Um, of course, I'm going to still keep doing the makeup videos because I love that too. But I thought, you know, Teacher Loves Beauty, my channel name was brought out of all the things that I find beautiful. And one of the things that I find beautiful are all these different crafts and, and flosses and yarns and everything else. So without further ado, grab yourself like a beverage, a snack, something. Put me on 1.5 speed. I don't know. But I have all these piles around me. And let me get into showing you some of, well, all of my whips. I'm so excited. Oh God, I hope I do this right. Okay. So for the first project I have is a product, a project I'm calling Autumn, and here is the bag that it's in. It is a Stitching with the Housewives um, project, and here is a little thing. I am part of the um, Stitching Seasons with the Housewives club from the Fat Quarter Shop, and I'll try to link everything I can down below. Um, but I'm stitching this using Classic Colorworks thread. This is the called for and they're just some beautiful colors. And here is the pattern, it's called Autumn. And it has the little, the months down at the bottom and it they, they put it on this ladder. And I think I'm gonna buy this ladder because I think it's so darn cute. But this is how far I've gotten so far. I'm super um, excited. I just put the window in yesterday and stitched the pumpkin. And um, yeah, so side by side. I'm going to try to put pictures up. I'm going to take pictures of all of these patterns um, so that I can put them, oops, so that I can put them um, in the video for you. So that's the first project. The second one, and that's stitched on fabric flare trim white pine board. It came part of the kit. Um, the next project is my Halloween Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. I love this pattern. It is so stinking cute. And I am stitching it using the called for Classic Color Works and Weeks Dye Works. And there is the color palette right there. I am stitching it on Zweigar um, Summer Khaki in a 36 count. It's really tiny. But here's what I got done so far. I've gotten part of the tree. So I'm super thrilled with that. And I'm hoping to pick this up again soon so that I can keep working on it. I'm going to say that about everything. Okay, next up is my Cuckoo Bird Sampler. I love this. This is another heart and hand project. And it is on Weeks Dye Works Bark. This is what was called for. And it also has a couple of, well, I don't want to show you the, the, all right, let's see if I can do this without showing you the pack. Ooh. All right, hold on. There you go. There are the little beads that it comes with. And this is how far I've gotten. I put this on Witch Elf, 
linen. It's an oyster color and it's a 28 count. So it's a really nice stitch. I like it because it, it is um, just one color. So it makes it easy. Like if you are going somewhere and you want to stitch, then you can just, you know, pull it out. It's just got the one floss. It, it probably is a really good travel piece. I haven't traveled with any of my cross stitching yet though. Next up is Halloween Hamlet by a Carolyn Manning Designs. Oh my gosh, such a cute um, uh, pattern. And here is all the called for. I make my own floss drops, but here is all the called for. It is so pretty. This is all DMC. And I am stitching it on the called for Ada. It's um, which I'll, no, yeah. Which I'll ladle uh, Ada 14 count in peaceful purple. But so far, that's all I got done is the little house that is up here. So that's that's where I'm at so far. But I think it's really cute. Um, it's gonna be like I don't know. I don't know when I'll get it done. Probably like in 2030 or something like that. With all the whips I have going on. So yeah, Halloween Hamlet. I really enjoy that one. Part of the reason I wanted to get this filmed is because I have so many projects and they're all, they've all been up here ready to film and I haven't been able to work on as much. Next I have um, Shepherd's Bush, Joy to the World. This is such a cute little stitch. And I started this in January of 2023, but I think I bought the pattern. I bought, I know I bought the pattern and I, I bought everything for this when I was in college. Here's the little button pack, like so super cute. And it also has Weeks threads that I had bombinated before I started doing floss drops. And I'm doing it on the called for um, linen, which is Heather, 10 count Heatherfield lamb's wool. And you stitch this three over two. So I got the two done, kind of, joy to the world. Um, but this is gonna be really pretty when it's done. Like, I don't know when that's gonna be. Okay, next up I have a Christmas Delivery by Twin Peaks Primitives. This is so super cute. I hope I've been saying everything I'm supposed to be saying. And this is stitched on 14 count vintage country mocha. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. I was really excited because I got quite a bit of this done when I was working on it this summer. Um, and yeah, I really like it. It is, you. I'm using the called for DMCs. And um, yeah, I can't wait to get more work on that one done this winter. Um, next, I have A Season of Celebrations 2 by Hands On Design. And I'm using the special, um, I, the design by Kimberly from A Fat Quarter Shop. She put together different colors and they all are um, classic color works. I mean, look at this color story so pretty I have all the like the I have a lot of things done with like the traditional Christmas colors you know like like this one is more like you know winter fall type colors so I just wanted something a little brighter and this is how far I've gotten I said that I was going to try to do um like every month do a different block but I just didn't get as far as I thought but I'm glad that I put some work into this and I'm going to keep working on this every month it's going to be um one that I keep next to my couch that is done on Zweigart 25 count La Lugana in prim that's a Lori Holt shade and it's with all the classic color works like I had said so yeah that's a year of celebrations. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know how you floss tubers do this. This is like a crazy mess I have going on here. And I feel like I'm not like doing my job here. Okay, next up I have another um, stitching seasons with the housewives. This is spring. And it's with all the called for classic color works shades. They are beautiful. And it's in this really cute bag once again. And it has one of these little dangly do's and this is how far I got on this one so I only got like the the roof of the house done a little bit but that's okay it's a start and I'll work on it some more when springtime comes and then last in this pile but not certainly not least is spring moon by plum street sampler and this one I'm using dmc and the week's dye works it's everything that's called for so I have everything like some of it I have bominated and some of it I just have sitting here um because I didn't get quite finished with that I'm stitching this on 
14 count Witchell Ada in the shade Natural Light. And this is how far I've gotten. I've only started working on a little bit of that moon. So there it is. <laughs> so yeah I'm excited though it's a really pretty pattern I just I didn't get very far okay next up I have a series started from Country Cottage Needleworks this is the cottage of the month August cottage it's so freaking cute what am I saying about I'm saying that about everything I'm using the called for DMC and here are some of them I put on a floss drop. And then here are some other colors. These are just such pretty colors, aren't they? And um, so far, this is where I'm at. I just started the um, roof of the little cottage. And this is being stitched on a Witch Out Linen um, 28 count in Oyster. I'm part of the um, Fabric of the Month Club through the Fat Quarter Shop for these. And I'm really enjoying that. Oh, do I have hair on this? Yes, I do. Um, so that's where I'm getting some, a lot of this fabric from. Then I'm, st I started Mirabilia. This is for my BAP to school sal, B-A-P, big A project. And um, Lauren, the New Hampshire stitcher, um, started the sal. And so I decided to do this. Oh my God, she is beautiful. I have the bead pack. These are all the flosses. There's my, um, there's a couple water lilies here. Oh, they're so gorgeous. And then these are all the colors. And I have a really sad start, but at least I started it. And this is being stitched on the called for 32 count Laurel Linen from Witchell Imports. So thrilled with that. I, I absolutely am loving this project. Okay, up next is the Little House Needleworks pattern, The Bookshelf, which I really like. I haven't seen this on anybody's floss tubes yet except for Megan, the Seattle stitcher. I was so thrilled to see that she was stitching it too. It it calls for this metallic DMC thread, which I haven't tried yet. And like, I have a whole bunch of bobbins here that I haven't put on floss drops, um, but they're all bobbinated. They're really pretty colors. I can't even, I don't even know how to show you, but they're really pretty. Um, and then this is my sad little start. I, I started with this middle point right here and I started this one um, December 31st of 2022 and it's on white Ada. I'm not sure the count. I'm not sure the color. Um, it's just something that I had in my stash. So that one is that. And then last in this pile, I have, um, this is from Bent Creek, the Everyday Sampler. I just thought it was so super simple. I also bought this pattern when I was in college and I'm using the sampler and Gentle Art Sampler and Weeks Dye Works threads. They're really pretty. And this is on 28 count summer khaki linen, question mark. And that's how far I got. This is also a sad little start, but it started. Okay, this next one um, I purchased because I was watching Mama Loves You GB and I went to her shop and she charts reproduction samplers. And this is one called Nessie Mitchell 1929 that I wanted to start for Black Sampler November last year. And I did. I'm using just 310 DMC and I'm stitching it on, I'm not sure what this is. It's a linen. Um, I think it's in summer khaki, 36 count summer khaki, I'm pretty sure. But this is my little start and I do have to frog some of it because I messed up there. So come November, again, I'm going to do this for Black Sampler November, and I'm going to pull it out and um, hopefully frog that and start again. Then I have, um, this one is called, what is this one called? This is the day how pretty that is. This is the day, the sunflower seed. And I have the sampler threads and it also calls for, yeah, the gentle art sampler threads. So I have them all here in a bag. And here is my start. Oh, my needle's in there. I know, I know, I hear a lot of people talking about not keeping your needles in. I can't help it, I just do. But here is my little start. I got a little start here, and this is on 30 count R&R &R creme brulee. 
So this is probably going to be pulled out again in the spring for some reason. When I look at it, it screams spring to me. Then I have one that I started originally for my mom. This is called Nurse. And I have all these little like charms, like nursey charms. And I'm just using 310 and 498 DMC. And I'm stitching it on 28 count Lugana. I'm not sure what color. But anyway, here, here it is. 28 count Lugana. No. Is that? It's 28 count something, but it, to me it doesn't look like Lugana. But anyway, it looks more like a linen. But anyway, that is Nurse. Oh no, Avalanche, I'll be right back. Okay, then I have Away We Ride by Blackbird Designs. You guys, you guys have seen this. I started this with a friend, her name is Natalie. I met her um, through Floss Tube, or did I meet her through Instagram? I don't know, she reached, oh, Pam and Steph, just keep stitching. I was looking for a stitchy friend and they mentioned me on that. So thank you, Pam and Steph. I met, I met Natalie, she reached out to me on Instagram. Here is the called for. This is in the Simply Shaker um, threads and I'm doing it on Witchell 28 count linen in Venetian stone. Oh, it's gentle arts threads. Yeah, gentle arts. And um, yeah, so Natalie and I decided to start this together on the 13th of September, and we decided to stitch it every 13th. So that is what we started, and I had a little sad start there, but that's okay. Then I started, not then, but I have another one here. This is from the Prairie Schooler, um, The Country Seasons, and the one I'm working on is Autumn. And I am stitching this on 14 count Ada in Oyster. And this is my start. I've been working on this one a lot because I really want to get it done. And I am doing it with all the called for DMC. My plan is to do all of them winter, you know, spring, autumn, whatever, all the seasons, all the seasons. So yeah, I'm really excited about that one because I feel like it's a really easy stitch because it's on 14 count. So I can get quite a bit of progress on it when I work on it. Okay, the next one is from Blackbird Designs. It's in this Crowns and Shields book and I'm doing this stitch right and it's called In the Pink. And I'm using the called for fabric, which is 30 count sanguine um, from Weeks Dye Works and I'm using the MPI silk in 502. I decided I wanted to try a silk. Oh, it's supposed to go this way. This is my sad, sad start. Um, working with NPI is a bit of a challenge for me, uh, but I really like it. It's just, and then this is a really small thread count for me. So it's gonna be a bit of a struggle, but I'm trying to find the right kind of magnification. I've tried two different magnifications and I'm not thrilled with any of them, so. We'll see. Then I have this one. Um, this is from a Precious Moments booklet that I um, bought when I was in college. I love the Precious Moments collections. Um, but this is the one that I'm currently stitching. It's called We Belong to the Lord. And I started this when I was in college. Like, look at these taped edges. How funny. And this is on like a mystery linen. I'm not sure what linen it is, but this is my little start on it. It's so cute. I'm using the called for DMC, um, but I can tell like this has already started discoloring the edges. It's not going to get in the way of the design, but I definitely don't want to keep it rolled up like this anymore because I don't want it to get on the actual part of the fabric that I'm using. So that's another, that is a long time ago start. Okay, these two are like my pride and joys. This one is one that I started because of Steph or Pam from Just Keep Stitching. I got the actual little Courage bag tag, and then I got the needle minder, and this is where I'm at on the Courage piece from Praiseworthy Stitches. This was absolutely inspired by Pam and her, and she did this in honor of her. Um, breast cancer, being free from breast cancer and all that. And I just love that. And I had to jump in. I never done a sal before. And I was like, I'll do it. And I'm doing it more as like a start along. These are the threads that I'm using. They're beautiful. They're from the Gentle Arts and they are Rose Garden 
and Rose Garden and Pink Azalea. And I love these. Steph helped me pick out the fabric. She didn't know it was me, but she did. And I'm doing it on the, um, I don't have this written down, but oh, I do know, duh, I have a thing here. This is in Lugana. It's an ivory Lugana and it's in a 28 count. But I'm loving stitching on this. I find it to be really easy and it's such a soothing stitch for me. And I am not doing it because of breast cancer, but because of um, alcohol addiction. So I decided... Okay, like I was saying before my camera cut out that... Um, Pam is stitching this in honor of her battle with breast cancer, and I decided to stitch it in honor of my battle with alcohol addiction. I got sober as of August 26th of 2022, and I'm very proud of that, and I it takes courage to do that and to get through that, so I thought it went perfectly along with the style, so I'm loving stitching on that. It's been a really fun stitch. Another one that I'm doing in honor of my sobriety is one called the Beautiful Sampler by Twin Peaks Primitives. This, These two patterns are the ones that got me back into cross-stitch. I had been looking for something to commemorate my sobriety, and I wanted to find some patterns that really spoke to me. This is for the Don't Be Afraid Sal, um, and I was like, you know, it's so afraid. I, I was so afraid to come out with this and to like, you know, just acknowledge it. And I'm not afraid anymore. So here is the progress on the beautiful sampler. I mean, it is gorgeous. This is um, the one that I found Natalie through. She um, started stitching this and I started stitching it. So we're both stitching this. She is way further along, but this is how this is so beautiful. I am loving it. I am stitching this on 20 Count Espresso by Fiber on a Whim, and I am using the Called For DMC. I started this on June 1st, and the Courage one I started on June 11th. So, yeah, I am loving those two. Okay, I also have this is a Owl Forest Embroidery um, kit, and this is for. Um, Kenny Brown, he is also a floss tuber and he was doing the unbirthday sal and I wanted to do it because I had this and he and it was an Alice in Wonderland theme. So let me show you. This is a kit and it's going to be a three colored Alice in Wonderland kit. Here are the threads. This is the Owl Forest embroidery threads. They're so gorgeous. Look at those. And I bought it second hand. So what is the, it is kit. So I'm not sure what the fabric is. It is, does it say? No, but here's my sad, sad start. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is really difficult. This is like 40 count or something. I don't even know. And look at the little needle minder. It's so cute. But yeah, this is for in honor of Kenny's um, unbirthday sal. And I will leave that information um, down in the description box below as well. So that if you want to get in on it, you can. I think you can do anything Alice in Wonderland. Um, I'm also stitching on sea glass. This is gorgeous. Carolyn Manning Designs. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I mean, look at how beautiful. And these are all the called for DMC colors. I mean, oh. when I saw this, I was like, this is the one that I need to stitch. And this is my sad little star. I'm just stitching this on 14 count Ada. Because it's a um, full coverage piece, I didn't feel like I needed to have like any special fabric or anything. Last but not least, this is housed in like its own special little bag. This is called, what is this called? Oh, fairy tale book cross stitch pattern. I had to put this in this tote. This is from, um, where is this from? Oh, Expression Fiber Arts. It's a yarn shop. But I had to put it in this, this bag because it's so large. This is going to be a full coverage piece. It's called Fairy Tale Book Cross Stitch by Stitch is So Beautiful. And I'm stitching it on 16 count Ada that I'm gritting myself. I, I don't know why. Here's my sad little start. But I'm going to put a picture up here of what this is going to look like. It is absolutely beautiful. I've been wanting to start a full coverage piece for quite a while, 
but I haven't found the pattern that spoke to me, and this one did. I mean, there's little people coming out of the book pages, the unicorn. You guys, I'm a teacher. I love books. I mean, this is great. But you guys, look at this floss ring. This is absolutely unbelievable. I can wear it like hair. I can't even show you the gravity of how much floss this is. I kitted up the entire thing. And there's extras in the bag. Extras in the bag. So I really want to get started on more of that. It is a sal, Stitch is So Beautiful sal, and I forgot the name of the floss tuber that started it. I know her name is Beth, and I forgot her channel name, so I will flash it up here and put everything in the description box, like I said below. Um, but yeah, those are all my whips. I haven't counted. Let me count in my little book. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Twenty-five. I have twenty-five whips. I thought I had more than that. So I'm not mad at that. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you'd like to see, you know, updates on my progress with these items or if that's something you're not interested with um, in. If you guys found me through Floss Tube, thank you so much for coming over and watching my video. Um, I I think the first floss tuber I started watching was Carol from the Salt Box, Box Stitcher. And I think we can all agree that she is amazing. I love her and her husband. Their dynamic is so freaking cute. So if you've not watched Carol's channel, you really need to go watch it. The Salt Box Stitcher. I'll have that below too. And um, her stitching is so beautiful. And watching her is like a comfort watch for me. Um, another one that I, I never miss is the stitching with the housewives, Priscilla and Chelsea. I really love their designs. I love how they finish things. And I watch Olivia from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. Those were the first three that I really started watching. And I'll I'll, if I continue on with this floss tube journey, I will shout out other creators as well. But those were the three that I started watching that I just, it made me fall in love with floss tubes. So thank you so much um, to everybody who puts out floss tube videos and really gives me some comforting material to watch and gives us all inspiration and sometimes doesn't make me feel bad for all the whips I have because you might have more. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well, and I really appreciate you taking your time to watch me. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!